Transition is going to happen. Either we are going to design or we're going to be victims of it. And guy education is in the business of designing the transition. I first met May in 2000 when in my investigation of sustainable communities, I came to the Findhorn Eco Village. I met May for the first time in 2004 when we came together here in Fintorn with 24 Ecovillage educators to write the curriculum for the Ecovillage Design Education. I first met May in 2010 in Mori. She didn't command vast resources, but she did infect people with her can-do spirit. I first met May East here at Fintorn Eco Village. Later, I joined the first Eco Village training here with one of my Thai colleagues. And when I was in Fintorn, then we have a chance to work together to start the first EDE. First time I met May East was um, into my EDE course in Sao Paulo. She has straddled the worlds and the sectors from the UN system to working with business to working with local communities. Later, I joined her CFAL board and watched her work with the wider community. Amazed, I met her. <laughs> and she, she said, why not one of us, let's have a um, partnership program. In three years, we develop uh, projects for people to get their own vegetable, also uh, plant trees to stop, you know, desertification. And I think this is also a seed that may plant it in the north of Senegal. We work with so different people and indigenous people. She is an inspiration for many people. Her way of thinking, her way of doing things and making things happen. Not only has May given me some really solid advice around feminine leadership, also really showcasing how it works to be extremely clear about strategies and to move forward. I think May is one of the most inspirational leaders I've met because of her fantastic ability to really get everyone engaged in a project. May's is the best kind of leadership, a quiet listening type. You don't notice until you think about it. She has a chance to be a more and more mature leadership in sustainability. It is a great joy. Um, responsibility in the deep sense of the word, which is ability to respond and also humbleness. And one of the ways that we've been doing this is by practicing mudita, which is a Buddhist practice that says, your joy is my joy. We are celebrating each other's joys. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.